Hello, Lennonpreneurs. I have a special guest with me today that I want to share with you. Her name is Madison Fish, and she's competing for Miss Universe Canada. Welcome, Madison. Thank you for having me. So a few questions for you, just kind of because you don't have a business, I'm just going to go off onto a few other questions to get to know you better. And first of all, how did you get into pageants? Um, well, I was actually scouted. Um, so I, it was a couple of years ago and I did a pageant last year, which was a great experience. Um, and then I came to do this pageant this year for Miss Universe Canada 2015. And it was one of the best experiences I've had so far. I've learned so much as a person and well, take me back a little bit. How did you get scouted? How did I get, well, what happened was I was, um, I was given an email from one of uh, my agents at the time and it was just simply, you've been scouted, would you like to go try out for Miss Universe Canada? And I actually had to read it twice. I was like, whoa. <laughs> it wasn't a spam email. <laughs> no, exactly. I had to go back and just like, is this really for me? Mm -hmm. And so I, I uh, traveled down to Windsor because that's where they had the, um, the scouting or the casting call is what they call it. Mm -hmm. And um, I was interviewed. Um, they look at you as a person, as a whole. And um, I was chosen. Which and was, how long ago was that? Um, this was two years ago. Okay. And so I did the competition a couple years ago as well for my first time. Now, um, it was, everyone asks me this because they're like, oh, you're coming back and doing it again. Why are you doing it again? Mm -hmm. um, so the first year that I did it, it was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. um, I unfortunately had a dress malfunction. I, it was something out of my control that I could not control. Um, so I took that with a grain of salt. I learned everything and um, I came back more wiser and stronger this year okay. and now so this I'm, is your second try at the Miss Universe um, at the national level yes very good so um, so now I'm very excited just to um, be strong and uh, make everybody proud yeah where are you in the delegates right now what's your level of ranking? ranking yeah all the girls are at different levels right now because I'm competing against girls all over Canada mm -hmm. so once we get there to Toronto um, we tour with each other for a week at first and we go through all these different rehearsals and then um, the prelims are on the 21st of May so then that's when you get down to your top 20 and that's and then the top 20 are revealed and then they compete for finals on May 23rd okay so how many are competing with today 65 65 so you're one out of 65 and then you move up to one to 20. And then what goes on from there? Um, I hope I'm not wrong. Correct me, anyone, if you're listening, if I'm wrong. <laughs> but um, it's uh, from the top 20, you go to top 12. Okay. And then you hit the top five. And then from the top five, you're crowned. And then you're Miss Universe Canada. And then you get to compete in Miss Universe. That's right. Very good. Yeah. Wow. You got an exciting road ahead of you. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. It's very exciting. So what kind of things happen backstage at the Miss Universe backstage. pageants? Ooh, that's a very popular question. Everyone wants to know the dirty details. <laughs> um, I fortunately haven't been in any of those bad situations. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they happen, of course, just, just like anything else. But... Um, from my experience personally, um, the girls have been fantastic. All the girls that I've competed with and uh, I've formed lifelong friendships, okay. which is fantastic. Um, there's absolutely no cattiness, which I was very surprised oh, about. Um, because, you know, every, it's competition, right? Like, yeah. At the end of the day, people, at the end of the day, you want to, you want to win. And it's a stressful competition, it's, so you really need to work together in order to help each other. Exactly. It's extremely stressful, um, but all the girls that I've been uh, around, we've stuck together, have supported each other, and it's just amazing. I've been extremely blessed to be put in that situation. Yeah, absolutely. So, so how old are you today? I'm 23. You're 23. Yes. So as a woman of 23 and living in London, how do you view women of the world today? So women to me are very special because I look up to women who are strong and very independent. Um, so my ideal woman, I view them as de determined, idealistic people. Mm -hmm. um, because society out there is extremely hard to survive in, of course. Um, in studying sociology, we did a lot about the glass ceiling effect. I don't know if anyone knows about that. Do tell. But it's about how women have to adjust themselves into society and how men have, you know, kind of taken over the workforce okay. in a way and how women are working their way up. Mm -hmm. And I think it's fantastic that men and women can work together more at an equal level now. Yeah. Um, because I think every, I think each gender deserves a chance to strive with their hard work. Absolutely. How do you think pageants has changed you as a person? 
Hmm, that's a very good question. Um, I think it's helped me change um, just the life experiences, um, the challenges, um, the rewards, everything. Uh, people see pageants as very, um, a lot of fashion and a lot of beauty. And people think you just have to be beautiful in order to be a pageant girl. But that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's extremely wrong. Um, you need more. Exactly. The women today in pageants are not only beautiful on the inside and out, but they're smart. Mm -hmm. And they want to make a difference in the world. And, you know, every little bit helps. And they're just trying to figure out their way to do it. Great. Which I like. Great answer. So how can our viewers support you? Well, um, we do have a voting poll right now on the official Miss Universe Canada website. So if you just went to there, and it, it'll direct you once you get there. You just click on the side where it says vote, okay. and you'll see the long list of girls, and you'll see me in there. Um, and you just you can vote um, four times a day, so every six hours. Mm -hmm. And also, there's a lot of social media going around as well. Um, one of my main sponsors, Pink Ink, has helped me very very much very good so they are um spreading the word so if you haven't heard yet i'm sure you will <laughs> um i'll be on a few radio stations as well in the next week or so okay so and you have a charity coming up this friday right i do um this charity is sponsored by uh, red guitar okay it's a um it's out of the music box and um, we're having a concert to raise money for operation smile very good so. And are you on Facebook that we can follow you? Yes, I am on Facebook as Great. well. We'll link that to the show notes below. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you very much for having me. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Quick shout out to our sponsors, Pink Ink, for both of our makeup and mm -hmm. our style. Sonia Bento for my hairstyle, as well as Susan Dinner for the jewelry that we're both wearing. Also, a quick shout out to Brighton Nails and Spa for our nails. Do you want to show them? <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to vote for Madison and we'll see you next time.